identification of risk factors and drug abuse phenomenon in adolescents aiming at designing health education strategies by Burgos Ladies and Montoya Marta. Introduction In Colombia, drug use has increased not only because people consume them, but also because the system market is increasingly wide and diverse. Approximately 3 million people have used illicit drugs at some time in this country. Drug use disorders are constituted as a serious public health problem in Colombia, which is especially affecting adolescents. Objective This study seeks to identify risk factors in drugs abuse in adolescents with the aim of designing health education strategies based on theories and explanatory models in the prevention of drug dependence. Methodology The present research is discrete to cross-sectional respect with MEDS approach. The statistical analysis was developed in the Excel program using 135 medical records of adolescents who entered a process of restoration of rights associated with drug use at the Casa Salud Foundation in the city of Monteria, Colombia in 2018. In addition, retrospective documentary research was used. Methodology the risk factors for the abuse of psychoactive substances proposed by Peterson in 1992, which constitute four domains related to context, family, school, individuals, and friends, were taken as reference. These factors allow to explore the relationship of this specific population with drug abuse by providing empirical elements that facilitate the design of coherent health education strategies that are adjusted to the realities of adolescents. Results and discussion. For the analysis, every risk factor was taken into account. The first table show was the risk factor related to the family. This table shows family relations that are fairly good with a percentage of 37 and conflicted ones 37 are evident. A type of family recomposed is 36% and history of abandonment 30%. These percentages agree with Cedro who says that the family is supportive or overwhelmed from the beginning of consumption, as well as Maru and Matla Caballero Rol and Madruga, which state the family conflict, whether between the father and the couple or the father and the offspring, is related to the use of substances in adolescence. In the second table, the results place the risk factor behavioral problems with 63% as the first reason associated with consumption. In accordance with Namisela, who related consumption with acts of violation of norms. In addition, there is an increase in consumption between the ages of 13 and 14 associated with the male genre, 87%. Finally, marijuana, 79%, was evidenced as the main substance of consumption. As Rios explains, the early use of cannabis would also be associated with crime. Likewise, we can see that 97% of adolescents who entered are at risk 3, which means a high risk of consumption according to the context. Detaining 77% of adolescents belonging to socioeconomic and structure 1, 28% to socioeconomic structure 2, and those remaining are 3 and 4. Finally, Table 5 relates to the type of schooling of adolescents consumer, observing that 24% is in primary school and secondary schooling 76%, showing either rare relationship between educational level and consumption, Cruz, Gomez, and Rincon. Results and discussion. 
In health education, it is necessary to make a diagnosis based on the factors that are on the community or group to intervene. Selecting the most effective methods under a methodological design according to their needs. That is why it is necessary to prioritize these factors, identify how adolescents can learn new behaviors, and unlearn or awaken those that are already in them. Strengthening cell efficacy, acquisition, and maintenance for the change in the adolescent's future behavior without forgetting the social part in which he or she lives and develops. The design of health education programs in adolescents with drug use options should be framed in strengthening healthy lifestyles. Based on the result of this research, it is proposed as a health education strategy, a comprehensive prevention model that simultaneously intervenes with the individual his, her family, and the community where he or she develops.